Hello everybody and welcome to Bangladesh. Today we will be making chickpea curry, also known as chickpea buna. Feel free to pause the video here and have a read of the ingredients. Begin by dicing your potatoes into small, evenly sized cubes. You then want to finely slice your onions. Chop your coriander. Add oil to your pan and allow it to get hot. When the oil is hot, add your bay leaves and cinnamon sticks and fry these lightly for a minute to allow them to release their aroma. Then add your onions and stir this through. Add your salt, garlic paste and ginger paste and stir these through the onions. Cook the onions until they are soft and translucent and begin turning golden brown. This will take around 6 to 8 minutes. Make sure you stir continuously so that the onions do not burn or catch to the bottom of the pan. Once the onions are soft and golden, add your spices and stir these thoroughly through the onions. Cook the spices out in the onions for around 5-6 to six minutes. Add a little bit of water if the onions start to dry out and stick to the bottom of the pan to loosen up the gravy. Once the spices have cooked through the onions, add your tomato puree. We use tinned tomatoes, but you can also use tomato passata. Cook the tomatoes and onions for around 4 to 5 minutes until the strong tomato smell cooks out. Add your diced potato cubes and stir this through the curry.
Add water to loosen the gravy. Cook the potatoes until they are around 90% cooked. This will take around 5 to 6 minutes. Once the potatoes have almost fully cooked, add your washed and drained chickpeas and stir this through. You want to make sure that the chickpeas and potatoes are thoroughly coated with the sauce. Cook this for around 8 to 10 minutes until the potatoes are fully cooked and the chickpeas are soft. After around 4 minutes, you can add your chilies. Before adding your chilies, we recommend lightly scoring them to help them release their flavour better when they cook. Once the curry has cooked, add a generous helping of coriander and stir this through, cooking for a final minute. It is now ready to serve. Garnish with some more coriander and chopped chilies. This chickpea curry is very versatile and can be eaten with rice or you can stuff it in pita bread and wraps or can even be enjoyed just on its own. If you liked our video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and comment down below if you give any of our recipes a try. 